Leave Insert Higher Level Maths 2021. This is the solution video to paper two, question two. So question two is a coordinate geometry question um, and coordinate geometry and geometry question. The line 3x minus 6y plus 2 equal to 0 contains the point k, comma, 2k plus 2 over 3, where k is an element of the real numbers. Find the value of k. So for this, what you need to do is you need to sub in the values here. So this will be your x value, this will be your y value. So you sub them into your equation there. So instead of 3x, it will be 3 times k minus 6 times y. y is 2k plus 2 over 3. Plus 2 equal to 0. So we can simplify this and figure out what k is then. So that's 3k. Now for here, we can multiply this minus 6 in if you want, or you could cancel the minus 6 with the 3, whatever way you want to do it. Um, I might just multiply the minus 6 in. So I'll multiply it in as a positive 6. So it'll be minus, then it'll be times 6 by 2 is 12k. 6 by 2 is 12. And that's over 3 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now I can go and multiply or divide in this 3 into the 12 and the 12. So that'll be 3k. And then it'll be minus 12k divided by 3 is 4k. And then minus 12 divided by 3 is 4. So minus 4 plus 2 is equal to 0. So then I get 3k minus 4k is minus k. I have minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So that's equal to 0. Minus k minus 2 is equal to 0. So minus k is equal to 2. So that means k is equal to minus 2. So that's the solution there. k is equal to minus 2. Part B, the point P, which is ST, is on the line. It's a new line now. X minus 2Y minus 8 equal to 0. The point P is also a distance of one unit from the line 4X plus 3Y plus 6 is equal to 0. Find the value of S and the corresponding value of T. And it says here to find a value of S and the corresponding value of T. So that implies that there's more than one value. We just need to find one of them. So to start this, what I'll do is I'm going to sub S and T into this line here. So that would be S minus 2T minus 8 is equal to 0. So that's the point on that line there. And I know that P, this point ST, is a distance of one unit from this line here. So that's the perpendicular distance of a line formula. So that formula is D is equal to the absolute value of AX1 plus BY1 plus C all over the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now in this, that's A, B and C there. So A is equal to four, B is equal to three, C is equal to six. And then my X1, Y1, X1 and Y1, that's the point. The point is S, T. So S and T are my x1, y1. My distance, I also know d is equal to one unit, so I know that as well. So I can fill everything into this formula here and solve for s and t. So that's one is equal to the absolute value of ax1, so that's four times s, so that's four s, plus by1, so that's three times t, plus three t, plus c, c is six, absolute value, over the square root of a squared plus b squared, so that's the square root of a is four, so four squared, plus b, b is three, plus three squared. Okay, so I can tidy this up a bit. The square root of four squared plus three squared, four squared is 16, three squared is nine, so that's 25, square root of 25 is five, so on the denominator I get five, I can now multiply across the whole equation by 5 to get rid of the fraction. So that would give me 5 is equal to the absolute value of 4s plus 3t 
plus 6. Now, I want to find one value of s and the corresponding value of t. So what I can do here is I can say that this absolute value is going to be equal to 5 or it might be equal to minus 5. That's where you get your two answers. So I'm going to go with the easy one, which is letting it equal to 5. So I can say 4s plus 3t plus 6 is equal to 5. I no longer have my absolute value um, brackets there. For the other value that I'm not going to find because I'm just asked to find one value, I'd let it equal to minus 5. Now, I know from before I have s minus 2t minus 8 is equal to 0. So I'm going to do a bit of a substitution here. Um, what I can do is, well, actually, before I do that, I might tidy this up. 4s plus 3t plus 6 equals 5. So I'll take 6 away from both sides to get 4s plus 3t is equal to minus 1. Then I'll do my substitution. S is equal to 2t minus 8, uh, plus 8, sorry. So that is going to go in here instead of S. So what I'll get then is 4 times 2t plus 8 plus t is equal to minus 1. So that's 4 times 2 is 8t. 4 times 8 then is going to be 32 plus 32 and then plus t is equal to minus 1 so I have 8t plus another t that's 9t equals minus 1 minus 32 is minus 33 and sorry I can actually see that that's supposed to be a 3t there isn't a 3t so 8 and 3 is 11t, not 9t. So 11t is equal to minus 33. So that means t is equal to minus 33 divided by 11, which is minus 3. So t is equal to minus 3. Then I can find what s is. So s is equal to 2 times minus 3 plus 8. So s is equal to 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. Minus 6 plus 8 is 2. So the values of s and t is the point p is 2 comma minus 3. Part c, the points a, which is 4, 2, there it is, and c, which is 6, 11, is up there. Our vertices of the triangle a, b, c shown below. D and E are points on AC, so there's D and E on ACA and CB respectively. The ratio AD is to DC is 2 is to 1, so A to D is twice what D to C is. So then we just we have our ratios um, in a triangle where these lines here are parallel. So to find AD then, what we can do is if we say this is a ratio of 2 is to 1. What I could do is if I'm going from 4 on my x up to 16, the difference between them is 12. 12 then you divide by 3 you get 4. So that would mean that's a jump of 8 and a jump of 4 to get up to 16. So 4 plus 8 is 12 plus 4 is 16. So that's going to be the same for my um, values over here. I'm looking for a, d, the, the distance a to d. So that distance there is a jump of 8 on the x. What about on the y? Well, we're going from 2 up to 11, so that's a jump of 9. There's going to be two-thirds of it here, so that's a jump of 6, and that's a jump of uh, 3. So that's the jumps that we're doing. Now we want to find the length AD. So what I do is I get a right angle triangle here. Let me draw it like that. So we've jumped 8 on the x axis. We've jumped 6 on the y axis there like that. I have a right angle triangle. I want to find this value here x and that'll be the distance AD. So x is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 6 squared 
8 squared rather plus 6 squared so x is equal to the square root of 8 squared 64 plus 6 squared is 36 64 and 36 is 100 so x is equal to 10 that is ad is equal to 10. And then on to the last part of this question, AB and DE are horizontal line segments. So that's these two here are parallel. Uh, AB is 33 units. So let's fill that in, 33 units. Find the coordinates of B and the coordinates of E. So again, for this, what we can do is, I might just sketch the triangle here. Um, this is the easiest way to do it, I think. So I'm going to sketch the triangle here. We have 4, 2. We have 16, 11. We're looking for E and we're looking for B. This is 33. Okay, so we know that the ratio is 2 is to 1. So that's going to be the same ratio on this side as well. So so for this, I can find B nearly straight away. All I need to do is add 33 onto the X. And this is a horizontal line. So the Y value will be the same. So B is actually going to be 33 plus 4, which is 37. And the Y value will be 2. So we found B straight away, 37, 2. You can fill it in down there. And then to find uh, E, I'm going to use my ratios that I used before, the ratio going from here to E, B to E, and then E to C is in 2 is to 1. So if we have a look at the difference then between, say, 37 and 16, the difference is 21. Divide that by 3, you get 7. So this would be a jump of 7 and a jump of 14. So we can say that's a jump of 14 on the X to get up to E. And then for the Y, we are going from two up to 11. So that's a difference of nine. So this is jumping two thirds of it. So on the Y, we're jumping up six like that. So jump of six. So 37 going down to 16 rather than up to 16. So we're 37 minus 14 is 23. So that'd be 23. And then two plus six, because we're going up to 11, will be eight. So 23, eight are the coordinates of E. 23, eight. Okay, so if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.